Something unusual is happening in the forest. All the creatures are moving in the same direction, as if something were calling them. No one knows what's guiding them, but they all follow the same path. Katydids, locusts, wasps, and hornets have picked up a sweet scent coming from the bark of a tree. It's sap, pure and sticky, a rare chance to fuel up with energy. But where there is food, there is war. The competition is fierce. Everyone fights for the biggest share of the feast and no one is willing to share. Insects don't feed in harmony. They do it in shifts of power. Some drive others away only to be replaced by new groups. And so the feast continues in a constant cycle of dominance. The wasp we're seeing is an invasive species the Asian wasp Vespa orientalis, perfectly adapted to the ecosystem and more aggressive than other wasps. But pay close attention. It's been years since I last encountered this other creature, the European hornet. Despite the many species fighting over scraps during the harshest days of summer, there are others that don't need to search. The food comes to them. The Arjapello bata simply waits patiently at the center of her web for insects to make the mistake of flying too close. Cicadas, whose song marks the arrival of summer, are also the ones most often caught in the Arjup's web. This spider stretches her trap between distant stems, high above the ground, in just the right spot where careless flights become guaranteed food. The Argeo, also known as the Silver Tiger Spider, has a shiny abdomen with silver spots and lobed edges that reflect sunlight. This metallic shield may help lure pollinating insects into the web or visually deter birds and predators, boosting its hunting success. This spider is rarely alone. The males, tiny at just six millimeters, usually stay beside the female in her web, almost invisible among the threads. Because of their small size, males can't hunt on their own, so they rely on the female, feeding on her catches and her leftovers. It's a fascinating behavior few have ever seen. Just as I was trying to film these tiny spiders, a grasshopper accidentally jumped into the web, and the Argiope struck instantly. It happened so fast I didn't have time to capture it in detail. She seemed to have saved the grasshopper for dessert, quickly returning to focus on her main course, the cicada. But in the forest, nothing goes completely unnoticed. There are always eyes watching everything. That praying mantis, known as the European dwarf mantis, is a precise hunter that's been watching all the commotion. Her focus is on the tiny males, but there's a problem. The female guards them, and making a move could be dangerously reckless. However, there are other predators willing to go after an adult female Argiope. These spiders tend to remain exposed, out in the open, relying on their size and their web. This mantis has spent hours watching the massive Argiope up close, and finally the inevitable happens. Two powerful, spiny arms strike the spider with a speed no creature can dodge. When the mantis attacks, few manage to escape. Her precision is absolute. The spider desperately tries to pull silk from her abdomen, hoping to stop the mantis's deadly jaws with her web but it's all in vain. Pay close attention to this moment. The Argyapa fights with all her strength, trying to throw the mantis off balance and send her falling into the void, but the mantis refuses to give in. The moment to start feeding has arrived. In this tiny corner of the forest, every encounter is a battle. Every move comes at a cost. 
and only the most skilled continue the journey. Luckily, by this final stage of summer, most of these spiders have already left behind their egg sacs, securing the next generation. But a male Argiope, unaware of what's happening, approaches out of curiosity to see what's going on. The poor male thought his female had caught a prey and came closer, hoping to feed. But there's no more food left. For him, the time has come to leave that web and move to another. Although praying mantises are skilled hunters when it comes to catching spiders, the forest is also home to opportunistic predators lurking around the Argiope's web in search of a chance. This Latrodectus, known as the Black Widow, has secretly attached some of her threads to the web of a massive Argiope, silently tracking her every move. Her fine threads, acting like an alarm, have detected that something has fallen into the Argiope's web, and now she moves in to check. Even though the size difference is clear, she might still have a chance to steal the catch. The Black Widow has no fear of the Argupe's web. She moves across it freely, as if it were her own, because she's a master weaver, and few spiders can navigate silk with such precision. The Argiope isn't willing to share anything with another spider. She sends a clear warning. If the intruder doesn't back off, there will be consequences. Although the Black Widow is immune to the Argiope's web, she's not immune to her fangs, so she must proceed with caution. Stealing the catch won't be easy. The Argiope sensed her presence from the very beginning and remains on high alert. The Black Widow tries to distract the Argiope's attention, but it doesn't seem to work. At this point, the wisest move is to retreat before things get even more complicated. <laughs> 